Hello, everybody. Yeah, move your body. Backstreet Boys, come on. Doop, doop, doop. Hey, everybody. My name is the uh, Cinnamon Cinnamon. Oh, <laughs> okay. How are you guys doing? Uh, I'm not a Backstreet Boy by any means, but I am a knight in shining armor. Anyways, this is The Heart of Tales, part number three. If you haven't seen the other two episodes, you should, you know, go to my YouTube channel and, you know, peruse them for your own convenience. Anyway, uh, people with brains? No, you need more faith in others. But I have faith in you. Well, yes, but... I mean people other than me, but you're not people. Why? I live alone with you. I like being alone. I'm always alone. Granted, it doesn't really feel like that given our uh, current guest, but we live alone. I love being alone. <laughs> Why would I need faith in anyone else? Uh, Cindy, not to sound insulting, but your closest companion thus far has been a sword. A sword! A charming, handsome, woody, intelligent sword, but a sword nonetheless. Hmm, so? Perhaps this is all a good thing. I it's not! Mithamore knows, by the way. He knows that we're trying to get rid of him. He seems to be taking it rather well then, considering. Only because he wants to leave too, exactly. Like, I'm not trapping him in my own house. He's staying here under... Not against my own will. Yeah. Maybe this abandoned camp we found is a blessing in disguise, then. I don't want to fight any dragons. I just... Blech. What should we do? Cole and Methamore had chanced upon an injured villager in the forest. Oh no, help him, I guess. They described the injury to me. A badly wounded leg from an encounter with a rather bold goblin. Hey, I thought I got rid of all the evil in the world. I guess I was a lying sack of shit. I wondered, what was a goblin doing in the forest? Hmm, they had fled underground after the Dark Age. After I killed them all! After I... <laughs> yeesh, I'm... That doesn't sound very good, does it? I killed them all. Maybe I'm not a good guy. The problem we now faced was that the villager was too injured to walk, and the healing potion Cole gave him was not going to remedy that anytime soon. So the question was, how do I send out to get help from the village, and who do I leave to guard the villager? Oh, the added complication was that splitting up would mean whoever didn't have Sarath wouldn't be able to contact me through the stone. Hmm. I need to send one of them out and take Sirith with them. But which one? Who do I stay in contact with? Uh, oh, okay, uh, choices. I love choices. I love the illusion of choice.